just another front for criminals to commit more crimes. We believe and we say because the deep web and the dark web are almost in a united way somewhat similar to each other. The deep web contains all our financial issues, all our financial accounts, emails, files, enterprise info, medical documentation. It contains everything that should never be accessed by the public. That is the reason why it is hidden and that is the reason why people tend to use it as a front for obtaining info that is used against uh, the normal public. As mentioned by our opponent team, um, it was rightly said, dark web is a subset of deep web which is a site of criminal activities like child pornography, drugs, firearms. As deep web cannot be directly accessed by clicking on any URL or link, this means that it can be cannot be tracked easily and therefore it can be misused for uh, following uh, for following activities like it can host like illegal activities, illegal marketing places, hacking forums uh, and dealing with uh, all all, all un uh, types of unwanted uh, content. I remember this incident where uh, there was a student from the 7th grade who uh, somehow ended up uh, finding this deep web and eventually uh, ended up finding a dark, dark website and he saw a lot of crime, uh, criminal videos and you know for him, he got used to it and uh, you know he started getting a sense of uh, kind of pleasure from it. So basically dark web which is also a subset of deep web is some way or the other is going to affect the okay, child's mind by making you know, him feel that okay it's fine okay, to perform criminal activities, it's fine to you know watch this kind of uh, uh, okay, so uh, our opponent, she ended with a with an example where the seventh grader reached the dark web. So uh, everything has its bad things, okay? And um, the earth is good, but just because bad things happen on earth, that doesn't mean you stop living on earth, okay? Uh, next thing I would like to say, it is in the topic itself that deep web, web is a safe heaven against government censorship. And I'll give you a famous example of this. Is the Modi question. If you haven't heard of it, it was a documentary made by the BBC, okay, on Modi, but it was censored by the Indian government, and it was not it was not available to Indians on the regular web. But you could use the deep web uh, because the Modi question was stored on the deep web by someone. You could use the deep web to access this kind of information, which the government censors. Now, viewing uh, the Modi question is not a bad thing, mind it. It is not a bad thing, it is available on the deep web. And therefore, we say that the dark web is separate from the deep web. The deep web is good, used for good stuff. And therefore, um, this justifies the statement about government censorship. Yeah, to come, also counter your point against the, the you mentioned like seventh grader. Uh, the actual case was that it was not on the deep web, it was on a site called uh, Live Leaks, which is pretty popular, I would say, in the bank, of course, but it's on the regular web. And a seventh grader, it is not possible to access the deep web unless he has a Tor browser, he knows to spoof his IP address. So it's a bit of a complicated process. So, yeah, on the other hand, as I mentioned, uh, against criminal activities, if you all have heard of something called the Silk Road, it was a massive, massive scandal back in the day when 1.1 billion dollars worth of drugs were being used on the deep web. How did, how was it stopped? The, the law enforcement themselves used the deep web tools using uh, data mining and certain other tools and took down uh, took down this uh, tool. So just like how we have law enforcement. Why would you want to panic the public by exposing it to 
to the uh, to, uh, exposing it to everyone. We can speak. Concluding. Concluding. Okay, so I would like to conclude by saying, uh, by mentioning, uh, reiterating a few points. The protection of free speech is a thing that's very uh, accessible uh, on the internet, on the deep web especially, because of uh, that also propagates what deep web is the envision for the internet once upon a time. This preservation of culture because of uh, things like, things that are censored over the, in the normal web is, is done over there. Things like Great Firewall of China is an example of that. Also, um, I would like to conclude by saying that uh, just as she mentioned that uh, it's dark web is a subset, yes I agree, and just like how black market is a subset of real life, but we do not stop, if you want deep web to be stopped, then I believe that real life also should be stopped in the same way. I'm going to conclude by this saying, by re repeating my opening statement, closing line, every rose has its thorn, and the thorn of the deep web is the dark web. We regulate, we regulate stuff on the normal internet, we protect the privacy and anonymity on the deep web, and that is how culture, our heritage, and the, every person's right to privacy and protection of data is going to be there. And lastly, uh, information, uh, to correct you, bank information is not stored on the deep web. That's a misconception. Thank you. I would like to conclude my uh, observation and my, uh, and my objection by saying clearly that the dark and deep web may promise and annoy people, but its shadows have the darkest intentions. So I need to say is that whatever bad could happen will happen.